Data miners find an unreleased Halo Infinite cutscene, and let's take a look of the confirmed and upcoming 2022 Xbox games. So as you know, with Halo Infinite, there is going to be tons of more content coming for this game for the next number of years. We know we're getting co-op and Forge in Season 2, plus we're going to be getting more single-player campaign story content in the future. But besides that, there was actually a cutscene in the game that they took out. It was a mid-credits cutscene, and data miners have actually found this cutscene, and it's pretty interesting and could be pointing to a couple of things, so let's take a look at it. So there you have it. I mean, the first thing that pops in to mind for me is that this is going to be like the scene that they use to introduce campaign co-op when it is eventually released, because obviously it means that you're going to be playing with a friend and they find your friend out in the middle of space, just floating, jump in and play with you. And this could mean that there are many different characters that they incorporate into the campaign co-op to play alongside Master Chief. It could be the Spirit of Fire, it could be Blue Team. Could we bring the Arbiter back? Who knows what it means? But at the end of the day, it is very exciting to speculate what they are referring to, who they see with this cutscene. I just can't wait for season two to hit to get campaign co-op because I've already played through the campaign twice and kind of just going through and clearing all the collectibles now. But the next time I play through the campaign will most likely be in season two with co-op because it's such a fun experience playing halo with somebody else it's a different experience it completely changes the way that you play the game and experience it so very excited for that very cool that there was this cutscene data mine today maybe we'll see more things data mine that are hidden within the files that 343 doesn't want us to see yet so there are a lot of games coming out in 2022 i know there were, we talked about this in a previous video but here are the actual confirmed ones that we can look forward to going into next year so crossfire x this one's coming out february 10th 2022 this is a game a lot of people have been waiting for we finally got that release date for the single player campaign that's being created with remedy and there have been some previews out there and it is looking like it could be a pretty neat first person shooter story a game that i'm most excited for out of all of the games coming out in 2022 is tunic and we finally got the release date for that coming March 16th. So I can't wait for that to drop. If you haven't tried the demo yet, I'd recommend going to try the demo if you like Zelda style games. And I love Zelda. They're some of my favorite games of all time, like Link to the Past, A Link Between Worlds, Link's Awakening. Those specific ones are, are my favorites. So seeing Tunic in the same sort of vein of that has me very, very excited. We have Stalker 2. This one just looks absolutely incredible. April 28th, 2022. We know what's been going on with that game with the whole NFT stuff that they put out and took away. So we'll see how that affects the hype for it. We'll see if it reduces the amount of people playing it and picking it up. But I will definitely be jumping in to Stalker 2 on day one. Starfield on November 11th. That is going to be the biggest one in 2022, no matter what else is confirmed. Like, let's say randomly they come out and say, even Fable is coming out in 2022. Uh, Hellblade, they give us the release date for it. I think Starfield will just be hard to pass up by any game in 2022. And rightfully so. I mean, it's been so long since we got a new IP from Bethesda, Todd Howard. And this just seems like it's going to be a generational game. I know we haven't seen anything yet. I get that. We've only seen like drawings of some of the environments. And we don't really have any information. But it's one of those games where I'm generally kind of against getting super hyped for games that we haven't seen gameplay trailers yet, but Starfield for some reason, at least for me, is one of those games that's kind of making me throw away that mindset specifically just because of the magnitude of a release I think Starfield is going to be. Let's hope it doesn't disappoint because that would suck, but I really don't see it disappointing at all. And then we look at other games confirmed for 2022. There's actually a lot of great games that you may not think about. Now these don't have release dates yet, but there's definitely still that possibility that they may not make it out in 2022. But Shredder, Shredders is a game, it's a snowboarding game they showed off a while ago. I believe it was supposed to be out in like December and it got pushed to February, 2022. We don't have the specific date yet, but I love snowboarding games. We haven't had a incredible, just kind of like 
specific snowboarding game in a very long time. There is Riders Republic where there are snowboarding events in that game and it is a ton of fun. So if you do like snowboarding, I would recommend checking that out. But Shredders is an exclusive snowboarding game in the sense that it's only snowboarding compared to Riders Republic. So I'm very excited for that in February. Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. This is supposed to be coming out soon as well, sometime in the spring co-op first person shooter game. We're gonna get Death Loop as well in 2022. I know the game has already come out on PC, on PS5, but it's gonna be coming to Game Pass on day one. We have Score and that's been pushed back to October 2022. That's that first person horror game that a lot of people are looking forward to. Somerville. Somerville is also coming out in 2022, and I keep forgetting about this game, but it's like a sci-fi adventure game, and every time I watch a trailer for it, like I remember this from the Game Awards, it looks absolutely awesome. Like, it looks super cool. The art style, very mysterious. You're fighting off, like, robots and stuff, or just some, like, weird alien-typed looking enemies, and definitely a game I'm super interested in. I love these styles of games, so I'm excited for... Somerville coming out in 2022. There's also Slime Rancher 2. Now, I don't know anything about Slime Rancher, but this is the second game in the series. And I'm guessing it's a very, very popular game because this is a YouTube video from January 13th, 2021. It has 1.9 million views. And the channel, I mean, I guess this is the developer, only has 81,000 subscribers. So it's definitely a game that has a big audience and a lot of fans so slime rancher 2 is also coming in 2022 replace is coming as well we've talked about replace it's like that sci-fi action side scroller 2d environment pixel style of game can't wait for that arc 2 sequel to arc survival evolved and then there's so many games that you we may get in 2022 we just don't know official release dates such as like hellblade 2 i think that's one out of all of the other first party xbox games has a decent chance coming out in 2022 but it's going to be a great year and it starts off strong really february is going to be such a huge month not only for xbox but even if you're on playstation as horizons coming out too so we're going to be starting off 2022 with just tons and tons of games to play i still have so many games in my backlog no idea how i'm going to get through all of this stuff anyways guys that's it for me let me know what you think about this cutscene that was data mined and what games are you looking forward to most in 2022 if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and you're new here if you like what you saw throughout this video i'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community thank you again for watching thank you for your support and i'll catch you in the next video